Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, but we all know that the timing is fluid, right? Uh, my stomach is on high alert tonight, so uh, I'm sure some of you will hear it. Um, yeah, so what do we have for a message today, if you have good headphones? Um, anyhow... What do we have for a message today? All the Februarys are done. If you want to check out the playlist for that, tomorrow I start the week lease. Ripped the nail off today. Can you tell which one? Happened so fast. <laughs> I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> the whole nail. Gone. What do we got? What do we got for a message today? I fixed it though. <laughs> About an hour ago. <laughs> Anyhow, Six of Pentacles. Now this is give and take. Balance. Um, receiving something. Receiving a gift. It feels like somebody's receiving a gift. They're going to be receiving something that they've been waiting for. Things are about to be balanced out. Okay, if there's been an imbalance, things are going about to get better. Uh, this is going in the right direction. So if there's been some financial struggles or financial worries or something like that, things are going to get better. I mean, the Six of Pentacles is receiving something. Somebody's going to be receiving something. The scales are going to be balanced. Um, looks like we have a lot of people here with their hand out. Um, I'm not sure everybody's going to get the same thing. Uh, there's one person here at least that is going to get something. I'm not sure that everybody is going to get something though. Um, because it looks like there's there's a lot of people with their hand out, you know. Um, hmm. We have a very generous individual here that is going to be giving something. Put it that way. Hanged man. Hanged man. Now the hanged man is hanging on to something in the past. Because this is in the past position. Somebody's hanging on. They're, they're, they need to let go of something. Um, thinking about everything that has happened may have gained a new perspective. Somebody may have gained a new perspective through isolation of some sort. They've, they've, they're, you know, this is like a time of, well, it's a time of isolation where somebody gained some sort of new, well, it's a new perspective, right? What is this hanged man? Ooh, two of cups. Thinking about a partnership that didn't work out. Because this is doing a lot of thinking. Somebody is thinking about a partnership or a union that didn't work out. And they're struggling. They're obviously not very happy. If you take a look at this person's face, the, we have somebody here that, that hasn't been very happy. You know, they've been really struggling. Trying to prove a point of some sort. This is somebody that is extremely stubborn. That has been trying to prove some sort of a point. Um, to a partner. Definitely somebody's been trying trying to prove a point to a partner. But I feel like they've, they've, they've been um, kind of hurting themselves. They've been in a tough predicament. It's like their hands were tied behind their back. But they weren't really. They could have broken free. They could have... They could have uh, let go a long time ago, but this is somebody that is very stubborn. So we have, and has a lot of ego because this is somebody with a lot of ego. This is somebody that is struggling, struggling with uh, their thoughts right now. So definitely thinking about a partnership, thinking about giving something. There is a lot of people that have their hand out, okay, but I'm not sure that everybody is going to get something. Um, ooh, tower reversed. Page of Cups. Now, a Page of Cups is a welcome offer of love, a welcome message, flirting, an admirer. Um, 
happy news coming. Somebody has been avoiding, they have been, but they can't avoid it anymore. They've been avoiding disruption. They've been avoiding um, change, staying in a false sense of security, right? And But now they can't avoid it anymore. You can't avoid it. The heart wants what the heart wants. You definitely have somebody that has been struggling. They've been struggling with, you know, thinking about a partnership. Six Sixes are about getting your life back on track. And they're about, you know, the journey to balance and harmony. So somebody is thinking about balance. They're thinking about harmony. They're thinking about what they deserve. They're thinking about what they have to offer. They're thinking about, you know... Um, well, the Six of Pentacles is also about equality, you know, about about getting what you deserve, you know, a give and take in a relationship, because this is obviously about a partnership of some sort. Now, the Tower reversed can be a permanent loss. You know, this is a painful change. It's moving. It's something you never saw coming. So somebody may be going through an, a very painful change that they never saw coming. And it's causing a lot of internal disruption. Obviously it is. It's causing a lot of internal disruption. Um, somebody could be getting thrown out. Just saying. They could be getting, it could happen very, very, very suddenly. Somebody's been thinking about something. They've been hanging on to uh, an old thought or an old way. They've been having a hard, hard time struggling to, you know, open up, struggling to give, to go after what they deserve, hanging on to a false sense of security, but the heart wants what the heart wants. So this is uh, a message. I, there could be a message that is coming. Somebody may be thinking about sending a message. Um, now the page of cups is very emotional. So somebody is, is very emotional. Um, it feels like they're, 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 um, they may, somebody could be expressing their feelings, right? There's some sort of, you know, or wanting to follow their heart, you know, somebody's heart is leading them somewhere. And so I feel like there could be some feelings that are about to be expressed, perhaps, um, the tower reverse is avoidance. Somebody has been avoiding They've been avoiding their, their feelings. They've been avoiding their heart. They have. They have. Somebody's been avoiding, you know, challenge of some sort. Queen of Wands reverse. Now, there could be another person in the mix that is keeping somebody tied down, that is keeping somebody stuck. This could be another woman, another man. This is somebody that is very forceful, very revengeful, very vindictive. You know, this, this person may... Um, be one of the reasons why somebody is still stuck. You know, they're they're str they're struggling to let go, or they're struggling to make a move. There's definitely a false foundation here with somebody that probably there there's a lack of desire or a lack of passion or a lack of 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 uh, growth. This is about give and take. This is taking away from one and giving to another. So somebody is thinking about taking away from one and giving to another. And I think it's because they've experienced or they are experiencing a tower moment right now. They're experiencing upheaval, chaos, uh, major disruption within, within themselves. They're really, really, really struggling. Somebody is struggling with their feelings about... You know, whoever it is that they are hanging on to. Right? Somebody is hanging on to somebody that that is very, uh, I don't know, vindictive, forceful, revengeful, manipulative, uh, controlling. That's just a very controlling energy. And that's hanging on to that controlling energy. There's also a lack of self-confidence here. We have somebody here that is lacking confidence. They, they, um... They may even be lacking discipline or, or, or willpower or something. Um, they just don't have the strength or the courage. It could be, 
you know, there's a there's a lack of there's a lack of courage to honor, you know, the truth because the opposite of false is true, and the tower is false. So somebody is in a false uh, situation that they, you know, they're thinking about going and they're thinking about giving. It's interesting because there's nothing in the fault. There's nothing in these hands that are next to this tower. Okay, so there's there's a false foundation that. You know, we have somebody here that is thinking about taking away from that false foundation and giving to somebody else. And I think that they're thinking about it. They're struggling very, very much with their thoughts. And I think they're thinking about a partnership that probably, you know, uh, didn't last or something like that. They may have gotten themselves involved with somebody, you know, on the fly, you know, to prove a point. And now... Um, you know, now they're feeling this uh, internal disruption. You know, it's extremely painful. And this could be somebody's moving. It feels like somebody is moving. Um, you know, they're they're moving somewhere. I mean, the tower is in reverse. I mean, or upright. If that's moving because, you know, a foundation is changing. It's changing. This is a permanent loss. Hermit reversed. Let's get one more card. I don't know if there, there could be a reconnection here. I said it before this card came out. So I'm wondering if for some of you there could be a reunion or a reconnection. It could be between friends, could be between lovers, could be between family members. There could be a reconnection that is about to happen. Somebody's been definitely been thinking about it a lot thinking thinking and I think they've lacked confidence they've lacked confidence maybe they were fearful of rejection because if you were to put the six of pentacles reverse that first card out that would be a rejection and this is fear you know so somebody may have been fearful of rejection you know so they didn't want to uh, step forward but with the hermit reversed I feel like there's some sort of midlife crisis here somebody's really been struggling and you know they're ready to come out of the darkness they're ready to go down that path and and uh you know step into the light right step out step out of of hiding come out of hiding i think we do have somebody here that's going to come out of hiding there is an opportunity to celebrate here with the three of cups that is happy news having fun socializing communicating again with the page of cups so I do feel like there could be some communication coming in somebody could get an invite they could get an invite to you know get together with somebody that has been reluctant to express their feelings because of fear or because somebody else was holding them back you know somebody may have been holding them back but now they you know, I don't know. Now they're now they're ready to give something. Um, anyhow, now the Three of Cups it definitely could be a reunion, or it could be a, an invite. This could also be dating. Somebody could be asked out on a date. Okay, there could be a secret admirer here with the Page of Cups. Somebody could be asked out on a date. This is somebody that has been hiding, you know, they've been in hermit mode. They're ready to connect. They're ready to go out and have some fun. They're ready to date. Here you go. Here you go. So, um, hmm. Ah, the world card. That is the end of something. It's the end of a journey. Some A phase. A, a phase is ending. Somebody has learned their lesson. Somebody has learned a big lesson a, be, from a partnership. There's a partnership here that somebody got themselves involved with that has taught them a lesson. Now the world card is the end of a journey, leaving the past behind, stepping into the future. So a long-term phase, a long-term project, something like that, or a lesson. This is a life lesson, okay? The lesson has been learned. It's time to start on the new one. This is uh, an accomplishment. It's, it, it is. 
This is being in total balance. This is freedom. It's freedom from something. Freedom from being stuck. Somebody is getting broken free from something that they have been hung up on. It could even be a mentality or it could be another person because when I get the Queen of Wands in a reading and in the reversed especially, it to me, it signifies another woman or another man. It could be a third party, you know. So I'm not sure if we have the end of a third party which breaks somebody free and allows them to, you know, start their new life, okay? Because the world card is a new life. Somebody's lesson, their life lesson has caused their evolution. There's also a change of residence here as well. So somebody is changing their residence. You know, they're, they're, they're traveling to a new place. They're moving. They're going somewhere. Um, and that could be causing the upheaval. That could be causing the internal disruption. Um, anyhow, this is, this is traveling. It's going somewhere. Uh, leaving the past behind. It's victory after sorrow. So there has been some sorrow. There has because the Two of Cups is reversed. Now the Two of Cups in reverse is a separation, you know. So there's a separation that has happened which has taught and taught somebody a lesson. A life lesson. It has. And we have somebody here that is so stubborn that they have been having a hard time learning this lesson. They've been having a hard and struggling. Struggling to let go. Wasting time. Sacrificing themselves. Trying to prove a point. And it is because of ego. But now it's like... There's another opportunity here. There is another... This person is struggling while over here we have... Now, I don't know if we have two people here. We could definitely have two people because of this. Okay, on this side, we got somebody here that is struggling. Definitely. On this side, you know, we have a new opportunity for love. We do because of this, this page of cups and this three of cups. We have somebody that has been in hermit mode. They have been alone. They've been in hiding. Now, you know, there could be a new opportunity coming in, you know. It's like it's this is the end of loneliness for somebody. Somebody's going to be asked out on a date. Put it that way. Um, if you are coupled, if you are coupled and you are watching this, you may be experiencing some upheaval right now because of that tower card. That's extremes. There could be a fight. I'm just being honest with you. There could be a fight because of control issues. We definitely have control issues here with these two cards. Uh, very, very much. I mean, we have a power struggle here. If it's if you're in a couple, if you're in a coupled relationship, there could be a power struggle between two people who both want control. Okay, so that could and, and it takes two to make something balanced. It, you have to work together. You know, you have to work together to have balance in a relationship. So anyway, I feel like this day is about. Um, Breaking free from something, some sort of mentality that has held somebody back from a partnership. And it could just be fear. It, the mentality could just be fear. Okay, it could be. So I feel like, I feel like uh, there's an opportunity for love. I feel like there's going to be a messages of love. There could be flirting. There could be, um, you know, really socializing, having fun. Um... Knight of Cups. So yeah, there is. There is some sort of... Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings or they're going to be making an advance. They're going to be making an advance. They, they're, they're ready. They're ready. They're, they're, ready to, to, for, they're ready for their new life. Because the world card is the end of one and the beginning of a new. This is moving towards the future. Leaving the past in the past. So yeah, I feel like this day is about um, breaking free. It is. It's about breaking free from a mentality that you have to hold on to something that is incompatible. 
and deciding to give and go and take steps in that new direction. So somebody's going to be taking steps in a new direction. They've been avoiding it up until now. But I feel like they've become enlightened and they're sick of being alone. You know, for some of you, there could be a reconnection here. Somebody may have taken a break. You know, they were they were hiding in their cave or they were hiding out alone. You know, there could be a reconnection. Anyhow, that's for some of you. But with the Knight of Cups upright, we may have a, we may have a, you know, I consider the Knight of Cups a male. Just, that's who I am. I, I consider a masculine. This is somebody that is very uh, gentlemanly, you know, very romantic that, you know, um, expresses their feelings. You know, they express them themselves with their very kind, loving words. You know, flirt, a flirt. So I do feel like we have somebody that is, and maybe even coming with a gift. You know, this is somebody that is very affectionate, that is going to be uh, looking for love. We got somebody here that's looking for love. And it's after they have ended a cycle with some, they've ended a cycle, a phase. And it was something that was long term because the world is something long term. Somebody has ended a long-term uh, phase, project, lesson, whatever, with a partnership. And now they're headed towards something, uh, you know, that could make them extremely happy because this is a celebration. They're coming out of the darkness and they're headed towards happiness. And I feel like there's there's going to be acceptance here because we got, we got you know, Two people. I think there's going to be acceptance, you know. Two people coming together to build a foundation after, you know, one has already crumbled. So if this reading is for you, you will probably, probably be receiving a very welcome message from somebody that probably wants to get together. This person wants to get together. Whether you choose to do that or not, well, that'll be up to you. Good luck. Now, before I say goodbye, for the man that's watching this that uh, thinks that he's going to get my attention, um, I've got something to say. I don't date men that have girlfriends. So you can stop trying. My man dates one girl at a time. Not two, not three, not four. And he doesn't go out to lunch or dinner with his quotation mark girlfriends that he supposedly doesn't sleep with. You can have them because you're never going to have me.